of YouTube. This is my fall collection video. Um, it's currently um, mid-November 2012. So I'm just going to show you the current state of my collection. This is my most recent procurement. Well, um, This is a second-hand 2008 Les Paul's Traditional, which I've um, changed to standard and added the Yui Hirasawa Chush Rod cover to. Uh, the finish is Heritage Cherry Sunburst, but it's actually faded over the last couple of years, so it's not quite as cherry as it used to be. Um, standard 57 Classic pickups, and I haven't done anything with it at all, apart from change the Josh Rock cover. Oh, and also set it up as it needed to work. But, but it didn't take too long to do. The other one, as you've seen before, uh, it's the Joe Bonamass uh, studio. It's minor minor changes, wrap around of the strings, white toggle, um, strap locks, um, gold pointers, and changing the tuner heads to crowns. I might change them back to kidneys, but I haven't decided to do that at the moment. And last but not least, the signature on the back of the headstock, which was signed in April this year in Blackpool. Next up is my Vodspec um, Bonamassa, which I've created from a 2008 um, Les Paul Standard. It originally came with all cream hardware, which have changed with black. Um, I've again wrapped around the tailpiece and changed the knobs to the same as the the Bonamassa spec with the two amber and the two gold. But I've changed them to be gold inserts instead of silver inserts because they weren't quite right. Again, pointers. Um, done a lot of strap locks. And I've also um, had it routed to have the, um, the Switchcraft um, jack plug instead of the Nutric Power Crap that was there originally. And if you can just see, it's been fitted with bumblebees. Again, it's the same with the um, the Tudo I just showed you, but I forgot to mention that. Okay, the Gary Moore. Again, the same design as the um, Bonamassa, but obviously with 57 Classic being traditional, and it's been... Um, Reversed to polarity at the neck pickup to be Peter Greened. Again, custom trust um, trust all saying guy more the same design as what you'd find on their 20, 2001 2000 um, standard that was released, which I actually got to see a couple of months ago, which is quite nice. Again, um, it's got it has a bumblebees fitted. Okay. The Mustang, um, it's being fitted with Fender branded um, strap locks, which are a little bit different, but they're actually relatively cheap as well, which is kind of surprising. And I've also had um, a, the, the bridge put, put cover put on. Other than that, it's exactly the same as what, how you find it in the shop. This, of course, as I've probably not said before, was imported from Japan by a company called Ishibashi. You cannot buy this outside of Japan brand new, they just won't allow you to do it because of laws and regulations so you can only get it second hand but this is practically brand new but, um, and there wasn't any issues with it at all which is great frankly ok next one is the um, the, dark, the dark back um, honey burst um, 60s tribute Les Paul st studio I've done a couple of small things to it again Rob Chapman um, Trussell cover because um, th th this particular one I want of the same same order was played by him in a video which um, you can see in his page and it was signed by um, Rob and Phil X um, there you go um, in uh, what was it June this year um, in Manchester when they did the, uh, the zombie tour it's pretty nice and this is actually the most recent purchase. I'm sorry about what I said before. 
Um, this is obviously the 1966 G400 SG Pro with, um, with um, coil tapped pickups. A um, couple of small changes I've done to it so far. Just changed the toggle head to cream, cream to be the right one, and I've also purchased a, a Nagato Yuki um, drosser cover, just so it's the same as all the others. I'm done. You can ask to it at the moment. And last but not least, again, is the Flying V, which, as probably everyone knows by now from all the other videos I've shown, is fully upgraded from Epiphone spec to Gibson spec with um, Gibson Pro, uh, Pro Booker puck pickups um, in, in gold gold plate CTS um, toggle and jack with gold plating um, free CTS parts and um, a free 44k um, orange orange drop capacitor from um, a 1990s um, SG, Gibson SG um, it's also got a Gibson custom tr trussel cover, which I had it made in America, and it's also been fitted with um, gold cream um, tulip tuners, which I also imported from America. This is discontinued now, and you cannot buy it anywhere. And if you can't find it, I'll congratulate you, because it's a good investment to get. Alright, that's it. This first part of the video. I'm going to come back in a minute. Toodles. Okay, for this part of the video, I'm just going to show you the cases. So, I'll we'll start off with the Yui one. As I showed at the end of that video, I've actually had the decal made up. This is um, from an o OBA, OBA episode at the end of season two, uh, where they talk about writing their own sign signatures, and this is Yui's one. Uh, so, with this particular one, I've got our red shroud fitted. So, as you can see, the, the guitar's now in the case now. Okay, the next one is the gold top Bonamassa. Again, with the Bonamassa signature. This signature originates from his website, but I don't know if it's his genuine one or not, but it's, it's, it's almost there anyway. And as you can probably guess, it comes with a gold fit lining on this one. The next one is the um, the Vos 2012 for co copy, again with the same signature. And this one is been lined with a bronze um, lining to match the finish. It just seems to fit better. Next one, the Guy Moore. This one's a bit more special. As you've seen, the Guy Moore signature at the top. But this one is unusual to compare to the other ones because I've actually gone and done this to the inside. So if, if you can just see that, I've put um, a gold signature on the, the the lining as well. I'm hoping to do up the one Massa one when I go and see him in London at, at, at March next year, but I need to arrange the meet and greet yet. So we'll see if that'll happen or not yet. And of course the Rob Chapman version. This one's a, a third party case but with the decals it's not that far off the other ones apart from obviously the bump. Okay, last thing to go will be the amps. Toodles. Okay guys, the final part, this is just for the amps. Um, so my recent, most recent one is just a practice amp of 15G Frontman. It's mainly for me Fender and Mustang, just so I get the right sound. Um, obviously the next one is my father's again, which is the 30 DFX Marshall. Another practice amp, the um, MG15 CDR with the reverb. And obviously the main one, which is the Blackstar HT5. This is the C version, not the R version, so it doesn't come with a reverb, unfortunately. But it still looks, still sounds pretty nice once you... Put, put put it to 10 and boost it um, and the other thing just before I call off is I've, I've as you can probably tell I've sold the jazz bass but I'm actually looking at the moment to procure a Japanese one so hopefully that'll be the, the part that finishes the collection for me toodles <laughs>